Uh, alright. Alright chat, this is us. Here we is, here we am. I hope you're all doing well. We have got stuff to do. We've got things to do. Last night we killed a dragon. A dargon. It's dead. It, uh... It, it was incredibly dumb, but incredibly dangerous. Like, its AI was bad. Uh, it, it was just like derping around half the fight, but then it tapped us one time and we exploded into a million pieces. So, it was... Strangely dangerous. It, it, it was strangely dangerous. Put that in there. Uh, what was that about you and disguise toast? <laughs> I said, it, like, running with a piece of toast in my mouth, like an anime character. I didn't say disguise toast. Okay. So, we have got a few things to do here. First off, we need to drop these orbs, the dragon tears. Those are from the boss. Uh, let's put those in the parts chest. And what else we got? We got some wood. Mm. So, last night, we beat the dragon, and we got some cool stuff unlocked. We got this table. Uh, it doesn't do anything yet, but I was able to make it. And then it unlocked Blast Furnace, Windmill, and Spinning Wheel. I don't know what all they do, but I need iron. I need iron. And you know what that means? Back to the swamp. However, I have a really cool power now from killing the dragon. I always, when I activate it, I have the tailwind uh, when I'm uh, running the boat. I always have tailwind, which means I could travel like four or five times faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to risk base and we're going to get some iron. And I'm going to then boat that iron home at the speed of wind. And to do that, we need a few things here. Uh, actually, I could I could do this part later. Uh, that in this box is all the materials to make a boat, but I could do that later on. So for now, we just need to go through and make a chest and just get to it. Uh, oh, I've got gear that needs repairing. Hold on. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I'm carrying too much food. Let's just put it in this no-name box right now. Okay. Tables, maybe I just made it, but it doesn't do anything yet. Yes. All right, motor. Uh, where was risk base? Is this one? I think it's this one. I recently relocated all my portals to this portal room. Um, Sid Dog 9 he reset during the intro. Thank you. Muckle Douglas Bot, let me Reginald S by the fourth. This results of the third third. Because you sit dog back to the bones on VIP lounge. Hope you enjoy your stay. Team Crippets on the way. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Welcome and thank you. All right. Uh, okay, all this is fine. And we got a box. We'll put that in there for now. Okay. All right. Let's put the wishbone on for now. You can, I found out, find iron in the swamp. Just like underneath the ground uh, if you've got the wishbone. It is possible. Let's jump across here. I'm just gonna run past the leech. Don't need any of that in my life right now. Continue west by northwest. Let's run across this log that is very conveniently placed. Uh, let's see. Oh man, this is going to take a lot of arrows if I do this. Uh, you know what? I actually do need ooze, so I am actually going to commit to this fight. Now, if I remember right, once we kill this thing, it's going to split into smaller guys. Now, they are much easier to kill when you kill them with the mace, I believe. Uh, but you risk getting poisoned and just taking damage for an extremely long time if you do that. So that's why I, I hang back. I need a ranged blunt weapon. I need, like, those arrows that Green Arrow uses that has, like, a boxing glove on the end of it. 
Remember Harley Quinn's like, why do you have these? He's like, because sometimes I want to punch someone very far away. All right. Uh oh, I can't make a fire. A campfire. Uh hmm. Can I get the materials to make a campfire really quick? I think it's like five wood, five stone or something. Four. There's a rock. Oh boy. Okay, that that guy jumped right in front. He wanted to get hammered. All right, I need a little bit more stone. All right, if I charge at them, I can one-shot them before they poison me. That's good to know. That is good to know. Certainly faster than using arrows. All right, we're looking for one more stone so I can build a campfire to dry off as soon as I get inside the dungeon. There's one. Oh. There's an easier one. Got it. Okay, great. Oh, I hear a bow. Someone's shooting at me. It's this fella. What weapon is that? Frostnir. It's a hammer that has ice damage on it. Ow! Oh, bugger! Okay, I gotta get the swamp key. Ah! Oh. I thought I had already unlocked this, and I didn't bring it because I thought it would just waste inventory space. Alright, that's... alright, alright. M minor inconvenience, it's just gonna add a minute. Uh, Muck, I'm addicted to your Valheim playlist, please help me. I will help get you more Valheims, give me time. I haven't, uh, because I, I literally went to bed last night, woke up, and then got back on stream. I haven't yet turned last night's Valheim into videos, so that'll be coming, like, later today I'll turn last night's Valheims and the now Valheims into videos at the same time. There is no help. <laughs> there is only muck luck. Over here. All right. So we're just going to grab the key, uh, drop off the crap we picked up so far, and go back. How do I deal with rock golems on the mountains? I have killed two or three, and I did it with uh, staying really far away, jumping on top of rocks that they can't reach because they can't climb, and shooting like 80 of the... Cr I used the crappiest arrows that just used wood that didn't use feathers, and I, I killed them by firing like, you know, 80 arrows at them. Um... It's not efficient, but it works, and it gets the job done. Okay, Swamp Key. I believe I've got that out here in a box. There it is. Alright. So, we got Swamp Key. Wait, where was Risk Portal? I think it was this one. Yes, it was. They one shot me in three hour and I Yo yeah, don't 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 let them touch you. Stay away from those things. Yours two questions. Is it cheaper to buy the precursor for Frostfang or do the collections? So doing the collections isn't necessarily an issue of cost, it's an issue of time. It takes a lot of time and effort, and, and there might be some costs involved. Um I would say if it were me. If I were making a Generation 1 Legendary and the Precursor was less than like a hundred gold, I would probably just buy the Precursor. If it was more than that, I might do the quest or if I'm just itching to quest. But that's, that's me. You know, your in-game gold might not be the same situation as mine. But I will say, if it's your very, very, very first Legendary, I would say do the quest, just because it's an enjoyable experience. But not everyone will agree with that statement. Frostfang was actually my very first Lego, and I did all of the, the quests leading up to it. No rag rats. Okay.
We're just drawing off. Okay, we are dry. Alright. Let's just eat that. Okay, we got passages. Let's uh let's just do hug the right wall. We're just gonna keep going to the right. Might be my imagination. Maybe because I've got a nice uh, an iron mining pick now. This feels like it's taking less time, but I'm not sure. Someone's sending me a Steam message. Y'all ever be watching a streamer and the streamer gets like a, a Facebook notification or something, and you check your Facebook? <laughs> I do that all the time. I get confused by the notification noises. I try to close most of that stuff. Not always successful. Uh, you want a day off? I mean, I do content creation for a living, so it's more like any time there's a morning where I've got the home alone and I d uh, am caught up on my YouTube work, then I'll do an early stream. I totally didn't check my sequences now. <laughs> It's, it's, it's worse when they, they don't even acknowledge it. Like, they get, like, a Facebook thing, and they don't even say anything, and then you're like, oh, it's mine. And then it maybe doesn't even cross your mind for a while that it was the streamer because they didn't mention it. And we are already at 24 iron because of that box. That's awesome. We're gonna be making some trips. Uh, you ask as I look at the bottom right of my screen. We are, because of the treasure chest we just opened that had a bunch of iron in it, we're actually already almost full. I could have also brought the hat that has the light on it. I forgot about that. Not a huge deal, though. It does help a little. I thought that said mostly scrap pile, not muddy. Yeah, mostly scrap. Who knows what the rest of this is? Yeah, this game does have one of the weirdest iron ages I've ever seen. Cl go into dungeons in the swamp and uh, chop down boogers. That's how you get your scrap. Chop boogers. A morning stream time to have some background music over. What's up, Rainy? Just for you, buddy. Historically accurate. <laughs> oh wait, are we full? Uh, we might be. Why do I have 56 pounds of ancient bark? Okay, I guess, I guess at some point I picked up 56 pounds of ancient bark. Ignoring me again. What's up, Whiskey? Am I in the future? Is that 1 a.m. my time already? Why is it like, what's up, Whiskey? Oh, no. I can't hit it because it's vertically above me. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. Let's try to sit here and not die from poison if we can. 
Oh. Mmm. That yes, Steam notifications muted. Uh, I might have to consider doing that for whispers. Just let it blank if I can. Usual depression. How's your real time streaming to you? Uh, I'm doing good. Staying very busy. Staying very busy. Let's wait for one more healing tick and then I'll get up. Alright. One shot both of those, but I got poisoned again. Alright, I'm just gonna chill for a minute. Uh, what are your best tips for new peeps in Valheim? Right there! <laughs> Rude ship, got it. Alright, I'll just let the rest of the health regen over time uh, while I'm mining since I cleared the room there. I could have possibly killed those, like, bow and arrow shooting through the little opening, but it just would have taken a lot longer. Oh, well, I think we are full. I kind of like to keep all that. Okay, alright, let's jog back. I've already got the strength belt on, so we're already holding 450 pounds. So we're gonna jog back and uh, drop the stuff in that big treasure chest I made. And then once we have mined out this whole dungeon, I'm gonna build the longboat there and take all of it back at once if I can. I'm trying to save this lox meat because I, I only, only got three left and the swamp is two tiers below the plains where you get lox meat, so I kind of feel like, oh, the swamp is beneath me. It's easy. And of course, that might get me killed. But uh, I'm trying to save the lox meat for when I get back to the harder content. Would love to find more of those thistle plants, though, so I can make more sausages. I found two here earlier. How are the wolves doing? So someone in chat yesterday told me that I need to be, like, not too close to them or they freak out, but I need to be in the vicinity of them for them to tame. And since I've got them, like, on top of a mountain, it's, uh, it's, it's not happening except when I'm there. And I was like, oh, whoops. So I apparently need to go there and just chill out for a while. All right, we're going to drop off the rest of the stuff here and then go back. Why not make poison resistance? I mean, I'm, I'm probably already halfway done with that mine. It's, it's too much trouble. Well, you know what? I might actually have an old poison resistance mead for my, when I fought the, uh, the bone mass. So I, I still say it's too much trouble to do it from scratch, but if I've got one left over, I, I can use it. Uh, let's see, chain, leather, ew. Arrows. Okay, let's see. Uh, I got a swamp key from the Elder What's It For? For opening the swamp dungeons, like the one that I was in just like a second ago. It, uh, it opens those up and allows you access to them, which is where you get iron and uh, swamp materials. Okay. It's too bad you can't cultivate berries. Uh, yes, that is true. Um, the easiest way I've found to do berries is mark them on the map. For example, uh, rasp, 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 uh, blue bee, blueberry, blue bee, blue bee. And so they, they respawn. It takes a while, but occasionally if I want to, I could just be like, you know, bing, 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 and just run a lap through all the ones I've marked and get, you know, pick them up. And it's not a big deal. But it, uh, it, it, I actually built my base in uh, an area that happens to have a few berry bushes in the base. They respawn so slowly. <laughs> it's like days between each time that there's a berry to grab. They're right next to my beehives. Let's 
Salsage. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Does the poison resist help me versus poison I've already been hit with? Oh, healing need, please. I don't think so. I think the poison resist is not helping me versus the poison I had already been infected with. Because uh, I was uh, I was taking 3.9 damage per second before and after. Alright. I got the healing meat and the poison resist. There's no better time to do this. <sighs> okay. Oh man, I'm really... I might have died there from poison if I had not had the healing meat in my inventory from when I fought motor still. So glad I still had that. There's some guck. Uh, let's just get the guck that's on ground level, because it's... Uh, when I, I think I'm completely out of this stuff, and when I do actually need it, it's a pain to acquire. So, just grab the easily accessible parts. Alright. I don't know if I want to play WoW or Valheim. What do you play in WoW, Seer? Early morning stream. What's up, Stormheart? Yeah, I'm waking up myself. Waking up myself. If I gotta if I'm gonna be doing morning streams, I gotta stop staying up till 2 a.m. editing things. Uh you missed. Guys, do you see him? He appears to believe that he is in front of me, uh and he's not. Okay. So yeah, these dungeons here have a locked door seared, and you need the swamp key to open them. Alright, uh, let's see. Carrot soup and a mushroom. And then get back to it. Uh, your seed looks nice. Mine is way too much ocean. If I had a dollar for each seed surf attack, I'd subscribe. <laughs> Um, this was most of my early life was right here. However, last night I had to go down here because the fourth boss was all the way down here, like almost other side of the planet. I I got him though, but that was that was a long journey. All right, we got 650 of poison resistance remaining. Right, let's move this up here, just for emergencies. It's okay, the resistance is still in effect. Get all of the iron. No, I didn't. There we go. Uh, trying to unlock Volpira. The fox people? Uh, fell asleep around 6 a.m. Looks like caffeinated drink. Hello, my old friend. <laughs> Hello, darkness. I'm not going to wish you a good stream. I'm going to be bringing a uh, Benji Valheim series. Sounds good, Greg. Thanks for the support. Glad you like it.
I'm hoping to get uh, enough iron to get these new crafting stations online in this session and figure out Shout what out the on. figure out what I can unlock with them and then uh, at that point I think it's start the planes which is like the final biome right now Uh, I've lost my rested buff. I'm gonna jog back to the fire for a second. Archmagicus! Four months. Thank you, buddy. Muckley Douglas Bartholomew Reginald Esquad, the fourth is a Tons of Head Stuffles, the third one. Because you, Archmagicus, back to the Bones on VIP Lounge. Hope you enjoy your stay team cripples on the way. Giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Welcome. And I appear to not be. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm resting now. I wasn't getting the resting for a second. Uh, maybe there was an enemy too close by. That is entirely possible. No Guild Wars 2 for EUs. Ah, uh, sorry, Sunk. I really, really wanted to play this. I really wanted to play this. We, we've put so many hours into this, and we've killed four or five bosses, so I kind of feel like, you know... Not that I, I, I hate the game or anything, but I, I'm eager to see the finale. And... Uh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to put more of my side time into getting toward that finale. Is this open world? This, I'm currently in a dungeon area underneath a swamp. And chopping through these boogers right now. And uh, trying to get iron. Sometimes you find scrap metal in these piles. There's lots of undead and stuff down here. How hard was the fourth boss? Um, oh man, that, that's really interesting. So the fourth boss, his AI, he was an idiot. Like he got, he he was, a, it was a dra like a dragon. And he would fly around and be very dangerous in the air. And then he would land and get stuck. And just be like, Ugh, and just like wiggle around for like 30 seconds. And I was shooting him the whole time with my bow. And then he'd fly around and be incredibly dangerous, and then he'd land and get stuck on a tree. Uh, and just wiggle around and make, and uh, it was odd. But he landed one direct attack on me, and I had, I was fully buffed, and it one shot killed me. And it also took out like a huge chunk of boulder and mountain behind me. Like, his attack was actually changing the landscape. It did so much damage. So, I think they need to do some AI fixes on that boss, but it was basically a lot of firing arrows, because he was airborne, and also a lot of, uh, like, when he was about to spit an icicle the size of an oak tree at you, you had to dodge roll. Or get behind something really sturdy. Like, not hide behind a tree. That wouldn't, that wouldn't, have, that wouldn't have stopped the bullet. You had to hide behind, like, a massive boulder. But honestly, like, as a whole, the boss wasn't too bad. But it was on the other side of the world, so I had to make sure I had a portal that led over there. If I had died over there, it would have been really bad. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm stuck. No, what is that? I've still got poison resist for 50 seconds. That doesn't mean this doesn't hurt, though. 40 seconds. Okay, room cleared. Oh, oh boy. I could have done that much more carefully, but I was looking at the duration of my buffs and I decided to just go kind of like man mode on it. Alright, so this is what I got stuck on. There's a piece of scrap here sticking out of the ground. Okay, there we go. That's what I was stuck on. 
I am 450 over 450. I'm exactly encumbered right now. Okay, let's jog back to my storage chest and put this stuff in the box. Is this a solo player only game? No, you can play this with up to 10 people. Um, it's meant to be like a work together world. You can do PvP, but it's voluntary PvP. Like you, excuse me, you invite the people to your server and then, you know, uh, fight. But it's meant to be a, uh, a work together type thing. Now I am doing a solo run right now. Uh, what you're seeing is a solo run, but yeah. It, you, you can play with other people. I'm actually tomorrow, tomorrow night uh, at about 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be playing with a bunch of my mods. And we've actually got a copy of Valheim uh, that we're going to be giving away to someone in chat that's interested tomorrow night. You know, since it sounds like we got some new people to the game in the chat, I'll show you my base in a second. This game, it really... The combat, to me, reminds me of Dark Souls. Like, it, it's very dangerous. Like, you get uh, hit by a leech and get poisoned, you're, you're dead, stuff like that. Uh, and then, aside from that, there's also... Like, the, you could build with almost the freedom of Minecraft. So, uh, this is... So, this area here, this took a long time to build. Like, every little square here is something I gathered materials for and I built. Uh, this is my house, my storage area. I'm gonna repair my stuff right now. And repair this. And then I've got this area here. That's my kitchen. Uh, beehives, my carrot patch. Over here I've got some boars where they convert carrots to additional boars. Uh, my blacksmithing area, my boathouse. This took me like an hour to build because it kept collapsing. This game does not follow like Fortnite rules. You have to actually support everything. Like if you build a tall building and you don't support it right, it'll keep collapsing. And I, it kept collapsing. Why do you have beehives on air? No, I just, I lifted them up because I thought it looked nicer. That's all. It, you don't have to do that. I, I just put little stilts under them just because I thought it looked nice. All right, let's put that and that in there. Put that in there. Uh, chain. Just keeping my stuff organized so I can find stuff later if I need it. I've looted some poison arrows. Uh, a bunch of ancient wood. Probably got this from the scrap piles because I didn't chop down any ancient trees. And I'm out of carrot soup. Can I get more of that? I would like to get more of that. Uh, Stealth Archer is a viable... Yeah, it is. Is there any reason to upgrade my cape from wolf to lock? So it's like the same armor and the wolf one is more durable. I don't know. I actually made the locks cape before I, I discovered how to make a wolf cape. Because I, I made locks before I got a wolf trophy. So... I don't see a difference. Uh, maybe, perhaps, once they're both fully upgraded, one the other one's better. But I, I'm using locks just because it was the first one I made.